Hello there, this is Yuki and here I have a recipe about how to make homemade silken tofu. I admit it's a bit time consuming but homemade tofu has more nutty flavor with some subtle sweetness which you won't get from any store bought tofu. Check out the ingredients and let's jump right in. First, wash the soybeans and soak it in water for at least 12 hours. It won't cripple or quadruple in size. The soaking time depends on the room temperature, so always check by splitting a bean in half. The surface of the half-split bean should be completely flat like this. If it still has a dent in it, soak additional few hours until they are ready. Drain the beans and wash it thoroughly. Pick out any defect beans during this process. Pull out your food processor or even better if you have a masticating type slow juicer. I highly, highly recommend you to get one of these synthetic nut milk bags. You can find these at your local grocery store or health food store in the nuts aisle. Line it in the juice cup and start squeezing out raw soy milk. Add soaked soybeans and water alternatively for an effective juicing. If you are using a food processor, simply put all the beans and water at once and process it until it becomes a smooth liquid. Then. Drain it through the nut milk bag and you're ready to go. For additional details about making tofu, click the link above to visit my blog. Now because the masticating juicer can't get rid of all the pulp in the soy milk, we have to squeeze the soy milk through a fine cloth, in this case, our trusty nut milk bag. I've tasted many homemade tofu skipping this step and trust me, that's when homemade gets worse than store-bought tofu, so never skip this step. You don't need to be a perfectionist with the squeezing though. Stop squeezing when you think you're almost done. Here is my final squeeze. Even though I did a light squeeze, it comes out pretty dry like this. Set the stove on high heat and stir slowly with a spatula. If you're using a wooden spatula like I do, soak the spatula in hot water for about 5 minutes to make sure there are no salt left in the wood. Stir for 15 minutes. When it foams up, turn the heat to low. Now this is why you need a large stock pot. After it feels like 50 minutes but actually 15 minutes come to an end, add a tablespoon of sesame oil. If you don't like sesame oil, you can use whatever liquid type oil you want. The oil is to calm down the foam. Strain the liquid through a fine sieve to get rid of any lumps and extra foam. If you're going to make firm tofu, you can add nigari at this point and mold it in a tofu press. But since we're making silken tofu here, we're going to cool it down. I'll make a separate video about how to make firm tofu, so stay tuned. Cool it down completely in the refrigerator. I like to cool it overnight. Now to make your tofu firm, you need nigari. I'm using a liquid type nigari, but if you're using a dry type, check out my blog post for more information. Stir the soy milk and add nigari. Lightly stir after adding nigari because sometimes it curdles up if you mix too much. Next, oil the mold. Actually, the molding thing is totally unnecessary. It's just my kind of twist of silken tofu when I want it to be presentable. If you're not into molding your tofu, simply pour it in a bowl. Place the liquid tofu into a steamer and steam it for 10 minutes. Place the steamed tofu in the refrigerator and cool it completely. We're almost done so let's get them out. Carefully loosen the tofu with your fingertips and unmold it. Add some chopped scallions, bonito flakes, soy sauce, and it's ready to serve. Homemade tofu is smooth, nutty, and even has a slightly sweet undertaste which you will never taste from a store-bought tofu. So if you're curious, give it a try. Thumbs up if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye!